And welcome to your Gong Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, 24th of August 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets to lead you around what's happening in markets. And we saw a positive session on Wall Street overnight, all major indices to the upside and advances versus decliners three to one. And this was despite some weaker PMI data. So that was an interesting response to that, perhaps playing into the narrative that central banks are coming off their aggressive stance a little. The US futures are slightly higher in the Asian session and Nasdaq is outperforming after after hours buying into NVIDIA following earnings report up around 6%. So looking positive for tonight's open. Asian markets are positive today so far. ASX is up around a third of a percent as earnings are helping the index overall. European futures are pointing to a slightly positive open and the VIX continues to edge lower after last week's up move. The US dollar index has pulled back from early June highs. Strong session for gold as price broke back through the 1900 level, sitting around 1920 at this stage. And copper also continues to edge higher and is over 380. All pulled back again after EIA data was released. It's now testing monthly lows as some demand concerns emerge. Bitcoin pausing after the recent drop and holding above 26,000 in Asia so far. And a big earnings week on the ASX continues. Also today, we've got the Jackson Hole Symposium starting in the US with the Fed Chair Jerome Powell speaking tomorrow. We've also got US weekly jobs and durable goods numbers out later in the US. A couple of charts to call our eye today. Uh, we're going to start in the ASX with Clyde Strategic Minerals. And you can see a really nice follow through to a good candle yesterday. Uh, looks as though we are up for a push towards that 200 MA that's sitting at 185-ish. Uh, that's a rise of around about 7.2 percent did start off a little sluggishly uh, but is actually doing okay now uh, could even see it as high as two dollars in the medium term in the fx market we're keeping an eye on the euro yen we did see a drop off after uh, european pmi data was a bit weak pulled it back down to around about this 156.85 but then since then throughout the US session we saw a nice move up back up to this pivot level at 157.52 which we're playing with right now possibly the higher probability trade is if it reaches 157.72 which would really sort of tackle this potential support which may well become resistance from three days ago so one to watch and those are the price points which we think are important trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now